I recently purchased the Zhiyun Crane Gimbal. I'm speaking as a relatively novice film enthusiast person here. Uh, if you're on the fence about buying a gimbal, I'm just here to offer you my opinion. I think skiing is probably the best way to illustrate the capabilities of a gimbal because without, it's just not something that's easy to film at all or fun to film. To illustrate that, this is the one shot that I took without my gimbal. I love to ski. I don't live to ski and I'm not phenomenal, so skiing with a gimbal had a medium to high chance of catastrophe, but I figured onwards and upwards. I like the way the footage looked right away, uh, just for a few reasons. This was the first time I had ever skied with the Un Crane, um, and I haven't had it for very long, so with that in mind, it was very easy to get some pretty scenic footage. Improvement wouldn't be much of a stretch to expect, uh, given that I only allocated 90 minutes of filming while I was skiing, um, most of which was spent on a chairlift. So this is all filmed on a Canon T5i with a wide-angle 10-18 to lens. All told, it weighs 1,700 grams. My model of the Zhiyun Crane can supposedly handle 1,850 grams. Um, make sure you check that your camera is below the gimbal's stated weight cap. Um, if you don't have a mirrorless camera, definitely weigh your camera and lens down to the gram. Uh, because even at 1700 grams, I find that the gimbal's motors have a little bit of trouble stabilizing my camera. Anyways, if you're thinking of buying a gimbal, maybe this gimbal, uh, I'll just say that the Zhiyun Crane has a small learning curve. If you can figure out a camera's interface, you can probably figure out uh, the Zhiyun Crane's interface. I've learned that it does not make everything you film look interesting. Boring footage just becomes very smoothly boring. Thanks for watching.